And we start tonight with CMS. The district is now out for summer, but when classes get back, there are plans in earnest to get the grades back up and do it within the next five years. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell gives us a look at what we know ahead of the announcement of those plans. Charlotte Mecklenburg school officials are getting ready to present their five year strategic plan. It shows what steps they aim to take to accomplish goals the school board adopted in October. Superintendent Dr. Crystal Hill told us then the board's guidelines and guardrails came from input from the community and from student performance data. We have lots of things to celebrate. We had green arrows going up across reading and math. However, it's certainly not good enough. The board's priorities include upping reading proficiency for K through two students, math proficiency for all learners and college and career readiness for high school seniors. District officials say they drafted about 70 strategies to reach those goals and long term spending plan to fund them. As school and county board members discuss the budget this spring, county leaders say they're hoping to see public dollars used effectively. It's obvious that those gaps have not closed, and that's why I'm uh, waiting with bated breath on the superintendent's strategic plan. CMS officials will detail the spending plan during the June leadership conference Monday morning. District financial planners request a $2.1 billion annual budget for this upcoming school year. It's about 56 million more than last year, a large part of that increase going towards teacher pay. Our strategy here where we're really targeting teachers in year 20 plus, and it's all to retain all teachers, but we know that we need to be intentional about being able to retain our most experienced teachers as well. The leadership meeting begins at 8 Monday morning. Reporting in Charlotte, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.